Hey guys, uh, my name is Phil. Uh, I will share the details of the occupancy network we built over the past year. This network is our solution to model the physical world in 3D around our cars. And it is currently not shown in our customer-facing visualization. And what you will see here is the raw network output from our internal dev tool. The occupancy network takes video streams of all our eight cameras as input, produces a single unified volumetric occupancy in vector space directly. For every 3D location around our car, it predicts the probability of that location being occupied or not. Since it has video context, it is capable of predicting obstacles that are occluded instantaneously. For each location, it also produces a set of semantics such as curb, car, pedestrian, and road debris as color-coded here. Occupancy flow is also predicted for motion. Since the model is a generalized network, it does not tell static and dynamic objects explicitly. It is able to produce and model the random motion, such as a swerving trainer here. This network is currently running in all Teslas with FSD computers, and it is incredibly efficient runs about every 10 milliseconds with our neural net accelerator. So how does this work? Let's take a look at the architecture. First, we rectify each camera images with the camera calibration. And the images we're showing here, we're giving to the network, is actually not the typical a bit RGB image. As you can see from the first image on top, we're giving the 12-bit raw photo count image to the network. Since it has four bits more information, it has 16 times better dynamic range, as well as reduced latency, since we don't have to run ISP in the loop anymore. We use a set of reglets and barrier FPNs as a backbone to extract image space features. Next, we construct a set of 3D position query along with the image space features as keys and values fit into an attention module. The output of the attention module is high dimensional spatial features. These spatial features are aligned temporarily using vehicle odometry to derive motion. Last, these spatial temporal features go through a set of deconvolution to produce the final occupancy and occupancy flow output. They're formed as fixed size voxel grid, which might not be precise enough for pre planning and control. In order to get a higher resolution, we also produce per voxel feature maps which we feed into MLP with 3D spatial point queries to get position and semantics at any arbitrary location. After knowing the model better, let's take a look at another example. Here we have an articulated bus parked on the right side of the road, highlighted as an L-shaped voxel here. As we approach, the bus starts to move. The, blue, uh, the front of the car turns blue first, indicating the model predicts the front of the bus has a non-zero occupancy flow. And as the bus keeps moving, the entire bus turns blue. And you can also see that the network predicts the precise curvature of the bus. Well, this is a very complicated uh, problem for a traditional object detection network, as you have to see whether I'm going to use one cuboid or perhaps two to fit the curvature. But for our occupancy network, since all we care about is the occupancy in the visible space, and uh, we will be able to uh, model the curvature precisely. Besides the voxel grid, the occupancy network also produces a drivable surface. The drivable surface has both 3D geometry and semantics. They are very useful for control, especially on hilly and curvy roads. The surface and the voxel grid are not predicted independently. Instead, the voxel grid actually aligns with the surface implicitly. Here, we are at a hill crest where you can see uh, the 3D geometry of the surface being, being predicted nicely. Planner can use this information to decide perhaps we need to slow down more for the hill crest. And as you can also see, the voxel grid aligns with the surface consistently. Besides the voxels and the surface, we're also very excited about the recent breakthrough in neural radiance field, or LERF. We're looking into both incorporate some of the light nerve features 
into occupancy network training, as well as using our network output as the input state for NERF. As a matter of fact, Ashok is very excited about this. This has been his uh, personal weekend project for a while. Uh, these uh, NERFs, because I think you know, the academia is building a lot of these foundation models uh, for language using like tons of large uh, data sets for language. But I think for vision, uh, NERFs are going to provide the foundation models uh, for computer vision because uh, they are grounded in geometry, and geometry gives us a nice way to supervise these networks and frees us of the requirement to define an ontology. And the supervision is essentially free because you just have to differentially render these images. So I think in the future, uh, this occupancy network idea where you know, images come in and then the network produces a consistent um, volumetric representation of the scene that can then be differentially rendered into any image that was observed. I, I personally think is a future of computer vision uh, and you know, we, we do some initial work on it uh, right now, but I think in the future, both at Tesla and in the academia, uh, we will see that these combination of one shot uh, prediction of full volumetric occupancy uh, will be the future. That, that's my personal uh, bet. Thanks, Ashok. So here's an example early result of a 3D reconstruction from our fleet data. Instead of focusing on getting perfect RGB reprojection in image space, our primary goal here is to accurately represent the world in 3D space for driving. And we want to do this for all our fleet data all over the world in all weather and lighting conditions. And obviously, this is a very challenging problem, and we're looking for you guys to help. Finally, the occupancy network is trained with large auto label data set without any human in the loop. And with that, I'll pass to Tim to talk about what it takes to train this network. Thanks, Phil.